Yeah, I think that s schools should definitely have uh, an LGBT specific counselor so that students know that they're not coming to someone who's totally unprepared because, you know, that can be the case. It's kind of awkward to talk to someone about these things who doesn't understand or who doesn't have experience with it. They may not be able to understand like how our mental and our physical health and our appearances um, are sometimes different because of like the way we appear. Having counseling easily available to students is important because they need to have someone to be able to lean on and talk to when they need it. And knowing this person is here exactly for this reason, exactly to help me with this specific issue. I think it can be very comforting for students to have that. In addition to that, they should also provide like a educational practices for the already existing counselors there, it's just so it's not just on one counselor. I think that the best thing that a teacher can possibly do is let the student know that they're there and not force them to talk about it if they don't want to, but to let them know that they're available to talk to whenever the student needs. I feel like not letting their own personal beliefs affect the way that they treat other students or affect the way that they teach and what they teach. I want to see teachers putting in like an effort to, to get to know their students like on like a emotional level, even if it's just like really brief. Because when you're trying to figure out who you are, you're going to go through a bunch of different identities. An obvious don't is don't um, belittle students, you know, for expressing fem femininity or masculinity or, you know, showing any kind of queerness. Be open to the changes and to not to judge you when you are going through those changes.